Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about how to get an A in pharmacology and this is both for undergraduate level pharmacology and advanced pharmacology. I've taken both courses and I know the secrets to getting an A in the class and I'm going to tell you guys the five secrets to get an A in pharmacology. So let's get. My name is Jessica and I'm a second year doctoral student studying nursing practice and also a nursing educator specializing in psychiatric nursing practice. I create content to support nurses, nursing students along their nursing journey. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. So you're here because you want to know the secrets to ACE Pharmacology. Number one, you want to get organized. Pharmacology can be extremely dry and have a lot of information that you need to memorize. We want to organize this information in a way that will maximize retention and minimize time because honestly, you could spend months, if not years, studying all of the pharmacology content because there's just so much to know. Between the contraindications, adverse effects, the mechanisms of action, there is a lot of information to know for this course. So step one is to get organized and display that information in a way that is easy for you to understand and retain. So to do that, I would recommend using some type of pharmacology summary material to supplement the readings. The readings can be super dense and after a couple pages you start to tune out the information because how many mechanisms of action and adverse effects can you read? It's very difficult to memorize. This one causes hypotension. This one causes hypertension. There's just all of these similar wordings with totally different effects and it can just become a lot and reading through very dry information in a textbook can be extremely challenging. So I would recommend using some type of pharmacology summary or supplemental material. So to do this, I would use supplemental material in the form of your lectures from the class and I would study those lectures from the course and also look through the book. And when you're looking through the book, what you really wanna focus on are the tables and diagrams. Typically the authors of the pharmacology books will pick the most important information and put it in diagrams and tables within the chapters. So I would definitely look at those and add those to my supplemental note because the readings can be dense and after a while you can just sort of start to tune it out. It's very difficult to retain many pages of information based on pharmacology from a textbook. So as a free resource, I have uploaded my pharmacology notebook and these were just some of the notes that I took in my advanced pharmacology course and so you guys can use these. It is broken down into different sections based on the area that it's focusing on. So, you know, you have gastrointestinal, the cardiac, the thyroid. So you guys can use those if you feel like it will be helpful in your course and I will leave a link for those below. They are free. Another great resource to get an A in pharmacology and what I used the most is flashcards. And the reason I would do this is because on the flashcards, I would put the most important things. So what is the mechanism of action? What are the adverse side effects? What is the type of drug? What are some nursing interventions that we need to look for? And I would create these flashcards so that I could go through and see you know, the name of the drug and then I would try to name off all of those things and when I flipped it over, I would see what I missed and then you know, it goes into a pile. Do I need to review it more or do I not? And for me, this was the best way to retain information. Uh, what I would do, because I think colors help a lot with memorization, I'd print out the flashcards and then, you know, the mechanism of action would be blue. So I would like highlight that blue and then adverse effects would be red and I'd highlight those red. So, and I just found that when I was going through exams and things like that and I saw the names of the medication, I would be like, okay, what are the nursing interventions for that? And I would remember the name at the top of the flashcard and then nursing interventions were in green. It just like helped me to remember those certain things. So that's another option too. If you print out some flashcards, you know, go through and highlight them and that's kind of your first pass at reviewing. And then you can use 
um, that active recall and space repetition, which is the best way to study. If you don't know about that, I'll link a video up above. So I would go through and highlight, and that would be my first kind of review of the material. And then I would use the active recall and space repetition to go through and be like, okay, metropril, let me name all of the things that I can remember about that. And then I would check the back and see what I missed and just keep doing that. And you would be surprised the amount of information that you can retain studying in that way versus like if you took two hours to read three chapters on pharmacology in the book, you are not going to retain that much information because your brain's just like tuning out after five minutes. It's boring, it's dense, it's dry, it's repetitive. It's just not the best way to retain information. If you guys would like some flashcards, I have some flashcards listed below. These flashcards have all of the medications that you will need to know in nursing school for NCLEX, for Advanced Farm. Uh, so you can get that at the link down below. Number four is to use Quizlet. I love Quizlet. You can just have the app on your phone. You know, if you have some downtime at work or while you're at school waiting for a class, you can use the Quizlet. So you just open it up, you pick the section that you're studying, and there will be a bunch of questions related to that topic. So I've created Pharmacology Quizlet deck for you guys. It covers all of the sections that you really need to know for pharmacology, for NCLEX, for advanced pharmacology. So you can check that out in the link below as well. Additionally, I love the Quizlet decks because if you have a long commute where you're taking the train or a bus, or something like that, you can use these to pass the time. It's just really great and easy to utilize when you're in a situation where you can't bring all of your notes, but maybe you can have your phone and go through some of those practice problems. Number five is to trust your gut. And they say this a lot in nursing school to go with your first choice and don't change your answers, but I found this to be extremely true, if not 100% of the time, in pharmacology because it is very difficult to remember all of the different adverse effects. There is just tons of adverse effects to remember and drugs sound the same and it just can be really difficult. So when you're reading a question and you're like, oh, that's the answer, and then you go, oh, wait, but does this one cause this because it might cause that? Don't do that with pharmacology. Again, you can talk yourself out of things and usually, especially if you're using those flashcards and going through and memorizing the material, your brain's gonna make that connection and then it's gonna possibly start second guessing itself. Don't just go with your gut. It's the best thing you can do in pharmacology. I remember my pharmacology exam undergrad, I went through the test and I was like, I think I just failed that because I just wasn't sure. Like when you do pharmacology, you don't answer a question and be like, yes, that's it. You're like, oh my God, I think this is it. I don't know. Like, oh, it could be this. In pharmacology, it's just, there's so much information to remember and you can just be really, really unsure when you submit your exam, so. Don't second guess yourself, trust yourself, you can do this. So yes, those are my five tips to get an A in pharmacology. So remember, get organized, get some pharmacology summaries. If you're going to use the book, mostly look at the tables, use active recall and space repetition to remember the information. Color coding also really helps and trust your gut. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you use it to get an A in your class and master all of the information that you need to know to become a nurse or a nurse practitioner, whatever you're using this video for. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe below. Check out, there's some freebies under there. Uh, there is also some study guides and quizlets, so make sure to check that stuff out and send me a message if you would like, and I look forward to talking to you guys later. Bye.